Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4 Millennium Dawn in the United States. Let us continue on from where we last left off. Well, we have 500 political power, we're getting 12.34 per day, which I think is pretty god dang good. And, we're basically just saving up to get to 100, or 1260. In order for us to go from a uh, boring old, oh no, the dot com bubble burst, to holy hell, the most powerful country in the world. The Fort Worth Tornado. Repairs will be necessary, 3% stability, mobilize disaster relief. Yeah, we'll spend $500 billion on that. That's fine. I, like, money, money is no problem. I have so much stuff. What about you? Increase intelligence spending. Don't worry about you quite, quite yet. Don't recognize anybody at the moment. Already, okay, and you require a lot of command power, which I don't really have, unfortunately. Uh, uh, um, Afghanistan. Can I send volunteers here? Send start military aid. Let's give him equipment, which is not really what I want to do. I want to send an expeditionary force. We need 5% of world tension. It basically doesn't exist. Well, the North Afghan Alliance, let's offer you some uh, satellite access. I, I, I don't really know 100% what that actually does. Do you have missile production? No, 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 no. I want to look at satellites. Payload. Titan 4. Let's, let's launch a satellite if we can. I don't have any satellite bits, I don't think. I can, spe I can set a car to space. Special purpose payload. Sure, send, send, a, send a car in there. Um, set, you know what? Send three different cars into space. One spot. Uh, what, what do we need? Launch mass has to be less than payload mass. Launch mass 9 kilogram, payload mass 6. Okay, if I get rid of one of these cars then. Oh, I accidentally keep adding. I want it. Can I. Can I this out of here I don't know how to take the trucks out what if I just do use a better rocket you have 12 8 I don't know how to take you off of this okay so you know what let, let, let's just go Okay, you know, never mind. Forget, forget. I even looked at that stuff. I don't, I don't know how it works. It's, it's a mess. Okay, we don't, we don't need to worry about it. I think ever. I think ever. We, we never need to look at that stuff. Okay, it's not necessary. We're like we're getting so much political power. Like I'm, I'm not used to this. Like seven hundred and nine. We're getting twelve of this. Like twelve per day. In a dramatic and traumatic uh, event, six-year-old Kyla Rowland, student at Bevel uh, Elementary School in Michigan, was fatally shot by her six-year-old classmate, Dara Owens, with Owens' uncle's P-32 handgun, which the uh, young child was found lying around his uncle's house. Dedrick told Kaya, I don't like you, for shooting her in the arm in the presence of her teacher and 22 fellow students. The bullet pierced a vital artery, causing massive blood loss and uh, killing the young girl by 10.30. Kyla Rowland is the youngest victim of a school shooting in American history. Well... We, we, there's time for that to change. We got time. We, we, can, we, can, we can set a new record. America, we can do this. Okay, Microsoft acquires Vizo. I have no idea what Vizo if, even is. The massive uh, American commuter company, uh, Microsoft, has uh, steadily expanded ever since its founding in 1975. Microsoft especially dominant in the uh, home computer market with its Windows NT4 and Windows 98 operating systems. is always looking to broaden its outreach and the amount of computer programs they controls, arguably so they can no longer be uh, released on non-Microsoft operating systems. One such target of their expansion is the Seattle-based Vizio Corporation, whose acquisition by Microsoft was initially announced in September of 99. Vizio, which is to become the Vizio division of Microsoft Business Productivity Group, uh, has especially met with uh, appraisal for its uh, programs to generate charts, graphs, and other data visualization for corporate administrations, economic experts, and product designers. Microsoft, which is paying $1.5 billion US dollars for the acquisition, which is to be finalized on January 7, 2000, hopes to strengthen the standings with uh, professionals throughout the annexation of Vizio. Hostile takeover, which gives the communists more support. But you know what? 
This is America, baby. Boom. 2000s Phil's explosion. At approximately 8 o'clock uh, on the 28th of March 2000, an explosion occurred at Phillips Petroleum Houston Chemical Complex in Pasadena, Texas. The blast and subsequent fire caused the one death and left 71 injured at the chemical plant due to burns or inhaling a toxic smoke. Eh, shit happens, man. Shit happens. We don't need to worry about that. Who knows? Maybe they had it coming. We still have a, we still have a majority of the Senate, even though this clearly says 3 over the, over the 50. And... What is half of 435? Like, that's such a weird number. 435 divided by 2, 217. We got a majority. We're, we're, we're looking great. And this is 4. So the CSA likes it a little bit less. I'm going to go say, yeah, bad idea. I've never, even when we, when we did the uh, Soviet Union campaign, I, I think those events are basically just always kind of shit. And a North American blizzard. You know what? We can spend 500 million. It's not a big deal. By the way, how's our influence here? 30% in Mexico. So I wouldn't mind getting some uh, beautiful puppet states. 25%, 23%. Canada, what are you at? Anybody near 80? 27. Somebody around here. I know there's a ledger. The ledger doesn't tell me how much influence I have, right? GDP... Territory, industry, army, ledger, factions. No, it doesn't tell me basically anything whatsoever. So we need to start getting some influence in here. Pronto. Do so you know what I think? Mexico? Would you like some economic aid? $31 billion? It's pocket change. They've rejected it. Well, fuck you too, Mexico. Once we get our economic boom, you guys have no idea what's going to be happening. Like, how much money are we making right now? While we're stagnant, we are making... Negative 37.5 billion. Honestly, it's not that bad. Putin's won his re-election. Not really a major surprise to anybody. Corporate income. Rising libertarian movements. The reason we have a steadily... Uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe we go libertarian this campaign. Nothing but folly. Most see them as a crackpot, overly uh, capitalist party. But with the rising rallies of registration numbers, some fear they might have the potential to come back if left alone. The media's help, we could do something to quash our movement, or we could just leave them alone as they are bound to be snuffed out again. It's nothing but folly. Hey, libertarians. Uh, where is that in here? Foreign arms market, active orders. Combat foreign influence, attack influence from Canada. I don't know where that's in here. But I want to see if you can maybe go libertarian. I think that could be a little funny. Um, what we not aligned is what the... Um, let me see. Let's go here. So the libertarian party, 20% 20, 20 support. Negative 100 political power. You know what? We make so much. Again, 100 political power, based on how much political power we're, ha we're uh, actually making, that's the equivalent of like 10 in a normal campaign. So it's fine. It's more than okay. Sierra Leone peacekeepers. Political power plus 50. The thing is, you boost popularity of Western, which is also kind of like not really what I want to do. This perform an aligned democracy goes up, nationalists go up as well. Civil rights contention, not aligned goes up by five percent here. I think you all do. Do you all do the same thing? The answer is yes, but if we can boost up the, the thing is you're either um Republican or Democratic, which is not really what I want to see. Not really what I want to see at all. I want to see the Libertarians getting a little bit more popular. <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, people don't like the President. But will they like the President? When, uh... When he's a Libertarian. Did you ever think about that bit? 
Uh, through an a exchange of various stocks, as well as the financial investment, the purchase is worth an overall 162 billion US dollars. The company America Online, or ALO for short, has integrated Time Warner Incorporated into the AOL conglomerate in a process which is finished on January 10, 2000. Excellent news. Boom, more support for the, uh, for the Libertarians. We love to see it. If the Libertarians win the election, it's gonna be it's gonna be great for everybody. Ban, ban. Well, nobody's banned right now. I can do another hundred. You know what? Boost them again. You know, boost them again. Boost them again. There we go. We we are spending a lot of political power again. That's the political power I want to be spending to get the economic boom. But we can worry about that, you know, a little bit later. American consumers spend less. You're going to put me straight into a recession? You son of a bitch. Okay, we're still staying. We're still staying. We're, we're not in a recession. Good news, Americans. We are not in a recession. Bill Clinton, he's got this. Are the Libertarians going to win the 2000 election? They might. They, they might win the election, which is... I, I really hope they do. I really, really, really hope that they do. Can I boost them up any more? Relative popularity, plus 2%. Political power, minus 100. Okay, it's not actually doing anything anymore. So that's fine. I'm not, I'm not even going to cheat back my political power. Again, we, we make so much. I, I, I'm still feeling okay on this. Okay, Senegal is also now exploding the Civil War. Senegal! Which is you. Do any of you support us? France, France, France. Senegal, please. You should align with good old America. I know what's best for you. We could spend some points here. The establishment has been reinforced. Why, though? Cowards. Economic aid. So, it actually, it only gets this go down by negative one. Left click to set to remove. Auto influenced. I mean, negative 1.5. Honestly, is like nothing. Like, we're, at, we're still getting 1.5 more political power right now than we did at the start of the game. So, like, why would I really even be worried about that? By the way, what happens here if the, uh, if the Libertarians win the election? I've got no idea. Oh, I just get $160 billion? I mean, that sounds good. Like, why would I not want $160 billion? Greece attacks your influence in Albania, huh? How much influence do we have in Albania? 17%? I do wish that there was a way that I could uh, quickly sort by who I'm influencing the most. What about like Haiti? 30% in Haiti. You know what, Haiti? We can influence you as well. Ooh, Honduras influence you. Cuba. Belize at 36. 40% here. So what are we at right now? We're still getting nine per day, and we're influencing, I think, five countries at the moment. Which... No, we're influencing four right now. 12, 19, 19, 13, 26. Venezuela's at uh, five. Overall, I think this is pretty good. Because we're, we're just going to slowly get influence here. And I don't even need to think about it. Because, again, we generate so much political power that I never, ever, ever ever need to worry about what they're up to. Ever. Can I attack? I oh, can attack the Republicans. Half if banned. Unfortunately, we cannot ban the Republicans. I could ban the U.S. military. I think that could be interesting. But we don't need to, we don't need to worry about that so much. Military seeks order. For a time now since the fall of the Soviet Union, the American military has been a growing issue for civil and military leaders alike. 
Without a great threat of old to keep the fear many now wonder, but as the new millennia takes hold, uh, what will the role be of the armed forces to be in a modern uh, policy decisions? Global claim. We approach international views justly. Um, mediate. Be just. No. We, we stake our global claim. We're America, goddammit. USA. USA. Okay. I, maybe we do want to attack the Republican Party. Tax the Republicans a little bit. Okay, well, I can see. Or is this capped because of this at 20? Okay, I see. You know, I'm actually give my political power for that one back. So it's capped at this. It cannot go any higher than 25%. But what I need is for the Democratic Party to become... Or not the Democratic Party, just the Western idea to become less popular. Political power gain plus 25%. We're already gaining... 6.19. Okay, maybe it's gone down a little bit. Auto influencers, fantastic. And once, like, can I just give you money? Can I just like start handing you cash? You've rejected it. One of you guys has to be poor enough to just accept the aid. What about a coup attempt? What's what's my chance here? 86% chance. Hey! Let's go! Coos! We love coos! Fantastic. And we're at 5% rule tensions. We can now start, if we wanted to, sending direct military forces to... Um, how many can we send? One? Let's send... I guess send this infantry division. I'm not really great at Millennium Done Combat. Can I send aircraft as well? No. But I'll send a tank. I'll send an infantry division over there. Fantastic. Anybody else that war we want to maybe support? Where actually where actually else is there even wars right now? I guess there's wars here, huh? Sierra Leone, I'm gonna send you an intervention force. I can send you one division. I don't see a reason not to. Oh. No, okay, I don't want to send you. I wanna send. Let's get Bannister in here. Let's send our intervention force immediately. Would you like military aid? You would, huh? Very curious. Data point files of chapter 11 bankruptcy. That's the free market, baby. Give me that political power. Um, Torpedo development, coding material. Sure, we'll go with you here. We got our interventionalist forces moving all the way around the world. Very, very happy to see it. See, now we're only getting six political power per day, and I'm like, oh my god, we have we have no points. It's like we have no points to do anything. I feel so broken. Yeah, you're going down. Daily change of point three. Our neighbors effect on us. Mass media problems. You know what? Do a national, do a uh, propaganda campaign for the non-line movement. I know it's going to cost us a, a stupid amount of money, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay, Afghan volunteers. Also, anybody who plays Millennium Dawn, can anybody explain to me why the zoom in, zoom out takes forever? I don't know why it's so slow. Okay, let's send you to Jalalabad. Our troops in Sierra Leone have arrived in Freetown as well. Fantastic. By the way, Sierra Leone, do you want some cash as well? Oh, okay. Apparently, they don't want any money. But I'm assuming my unit is probably, like, just so, so much better than anything they have. Because who else are you at war with? You're also at war with Liberia. Are you... You're, like, a puppet base of Guyana. Which is not super useful. What are we spending? U.S. military industrial complex, cartel, stability... Higher education, centers are retired, not a big deal. Anything we want to cut? We could, I mean, more political power would be nice. 
for sure. How's, how's my attack here? I mean, it, it looks pretty good. The numbers look favorable. So we'll, we'll kind of see what we can get done there. By the way, do you need to be at war for this? Um... No, they don't. Okay. But it does give more support for the... Um... It, it does give more support to... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? It, it gives more support for um, Western Outlook, which is not what I want. Okay, let's move on to the capital, Sierra Leone. Our influences are looking pretty good. Am I no longer influencing Haiti? No, I am. I think. Cease for between Ethiopia and Eritrea. The Saudis are requesting a block arms to GCC. $25 billion. Sure. There you go. You can have some stuff. I will take the... T I'll take the $25 billion. I'm not, I'm not going to say no to it. I ain't going to say no. So you should be boosting up now, right? Daily effect plus 0.04. Due to other parties, negative 0.05. Dominic Sanders. Are you going down? Daily change negative zero. I mean, it looks like it should be going down. So I'm not. I'm not really too sure what the hell they're talking about. Okay, farm. Well, how much? How much do farm subsidies cost? Sure, we'll pay them off as well. I don't think it's going to be a big deal one way or the other. Synthetic refineries. Your 175 political power, which I again I would like. I would for sure like it. But I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. If you enjoyed my thumbs up, not to really close them down. You want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.